Hi everybody, Tammy here. I wanted to do a brief step-by-step -step tutorial on a Chrome extension called Page Marker. So if you ever find yourself needing a um, pen tool on a uh, website in the Chrome browser, then this would be a really quick and easy go-to in your extensions up at the top um, of Chrome. So first of all, it looks like this. It's a little red marker. Um, that's how you'll know you have it. And also just FYI, I've noticed some people may um, not realize what this puzzle piece is over here. So I just want to do a quick shout out that that's just the rest of your extensions. So sometimes you have um, you have some different extensions up here, but you may have more than what you can actually see. So if you click on that puzzle piece, you're going to see even more and you can choose to um, pin those or unpin those extensions. So these are all the pinned extensions. These I do have some that are unpinned. So um, you can unpin the ones you don't use and pin the ones that you do use more often just that's just for free all right so first of all how do you get an extension and i'm going to show you how to do that so you go into the three dots in the upper right go down to more tools then to extensions then you're going to go to the three lines and then down to the bottom where it says open the chrome web store and then if you are in extensions it should automatically have this extensions that you're choosing for or that you're looking for. So page marker is the one we are looking for. This is what it looks like. I've already installed it, so I don't have it. Otherwise for you, it would say add to Chrome. You would click that and then a little pop-up would show up at the top. You add extension and you should be good to go. You'll see that pop up. So that is a little red marker. So let me get out of the web store. So um let's just say we're going to our website so you're on a website anytime you're in the chrome browser you're able to use this it's very very simple you just simply click on the extension and this little um, toolbar shows up and this the, is the default color is red but you can just click on that and you can choose any color that you want to um, they have the rgb codes here if you want to use that if you need to be exact or you can just choose it um, on here so right now it's blue. You can change the size of your writing and you're literally writing um, on your screen. And like I said, you can change the size here. You can change, um, you can choose the eraser and you can erase a little at a time, or you can simply close the uh, extension and then all of the writing and annotating goes away. So I'm going to go back to it. Um, this is just your pointer tool if you don't want to close it out, but you don't want to be writing. And you can also, if you write on the website and then you want to save it as an image, then you would save it. That right says save drawing right there. You can clear it here if you're not wanting to use the erase, change the color, close, done. It's just really fast. Um, we had some teachers that were using panels and we're wanting a quick pen tool that they would be able to write on a website in a Google Meet as they were presenting. Um, so that's just an option for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but that's it.